Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, do something like this with the blender former. So um, it's really just a, it's a really simple setup, it won't take us long to do at all. So uh, let's get going. Um, scooting over into my hair and if I um, create a torus and go to the poly torus node, I'm going to increase its radius and um, its section radius as well and make it kind of a, a reasonable size. Then I'm gonna increase the subdivisions. I'm gonna make the subdivisions something like 200 maybe, and then the subdivisions height maybe 100, something like that, okay. Uh, okay, so it's a pretty dense mesh. And then I'm going to do a duplicate special. I don't know what the settings are, so I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna reset them, and I'm gonna hit duplicate input graph. So hit duplicate special, and that's gonna create an exact copy of it. I'm gonna rename the first torus, I'm gonna to rename that main, and then the second torus, I'm gonna to call this emit. And then I'm gonna scale this right down. So I'm gonna hit four so I can see through the main torus, and then I'm gonna scale it down, something like this. And then this torus is gonna to emit particles, and the particles are gonna what's cause the go, are going to be what causes the kind of boiling effect. Uh, so hit seven to go back into shaded mode. Well, uh, six and seven, five and seven. Um, then I'm gonna du duplicate special again, and I'm gonna call this one blend. So this is gonna be kind of like the shape, the destination shape. So the basically the particles are gonna be triggering a um, morph from one torus to another torus, and the other torus is going to be a larger torus. So here we go, so something like that. Let's try this. So, okay, so on our main shape here, let's just straight away add a blend deformer. This is a mash blend deformer, and then it will morph between, it's like it's like the blend shape, but it can use uh, fall off objects and uh, maps and things like that. So um, if we just drag our blend shape onto in, into connections here, we've got this blend mesh, and we could just drag that blend shape in here like so. And then if I hit blend, if I just change the blend value here, you'll see that we are just changing from one mesh to the other. So if I go and add a fall off object um, and then move that around, um, the fall off can control where the blend is happening. Um, also, I'm just going to change the texture on this to this, um, just so that we can better see what's going on. So you can see uh, the, yeah, so the fall of object is controlling where the blend happens, da, 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 da. like so. Okay, so we're not gonna use historical fall off, we're gonna use particles. So let's, um, on our emit torus, the one inside here, let's um, emit some particles. So we go to the FX menu set, M particles, emit from object, change the image type to surface. Let's have say 50 particles a, second and then increase the normal speed to say something like seven turn off gravity on the nucleus so that's a zero and then or we could tell it to ignore gravity in here and then in the lifespan we want a random range of i'm going to put 0 five and then 0 five in here and then um just need to i have m particles turned off so i'm just going to turn them on then let's select them and then hit play and see what happens i'm just gonna there you go you can see them popping through the surface as they Ooh, there they are. There, there's one. I don't know if you can see them, but if I hit four, maybe you can. There you go. You can see them more clearly there. Um, so six and seven again. So I can see the the shaded version, the lit version. Um, so um, we need to connect the particles to the fall off. How do we do that? It's a drag and drop jobby. So let's just go to the fall off node, then roll down connections here and just drag the end particles into the shape in, which means that the fall off object, um, it's like every particle will become a little sphere, a little fall off sphere. So if we hit rewind and play, you'll see that we are kind of using the um, uh, particles uh, to blend between the two meshes. So um, first things first, let's smooth that. Yes, don't ask again. Um, and uh, we can grab the blend mesh here and we can go to its polytorus node and then we can we can just kind of adjust the shape that we're going to. Uh, until we kind of like, we get the radius we're happy with. So yeah, that's kind of, that's too pointy, so let's go uh, five, try five. 
and call ourselves call ourselves kind of happy with that i think i'm going to you can control the the radius of like the how big the blend is going um so let's try that and then maybe and get maybe i will just up this ever so slightly 5.5 something like that and then what we can do is um that done i the the resolution of the mesh um that's too big isn't it that's too big i need to reduce that um the resolution of the mesh that uh there we go uh, it was much higher in it was like 300 and 150 so um no I'm just playing with the settings I'm getting what I want I'm getting I'm gonna get this right uh something like that you get the idea play with it until you're happy um okay so we'll do that and then um So here are our, here are our little boiling bits, and then um, we can add a jiggle deformer. So the jiggle deformer is going to error when we add it. You can that's fine. Just ignore it. It's uh, just an interface thing. So create jiggle deformer on this mesh here, which is been added. Mm, did I add that? I guess I didn't add it. I guess I missed the button. No, it's here. Um, so, uh, yes, interface is a bit broken. Uh, you can ignore it. So dampening of 0.2, I think that's about, let's just lower that tiny, tiny bit. And then um, hit rewind and play. And then you can see we've got this kind of ripples appearing in the surface. Cool. So, la -di da um, Kind of happy with that. I'm just going to turn up the normal strength. Yeah, that's better. Cool. Um, so uh, here is our um, here's our animation of our boiling surface. Um, the, like I said, the mesh is really low resolution, so these are kind of more pointy than they really I would really like them to be um, in an ideal world. Um, there are, there are some settings on the blend deformer, the blend deformer that we can maybe play with. I've this is <laughs> this is unrehearsed. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, if we smooth the blend mesh slightly um and press play what's going to happen with us yeah the, the, it's looking kind of smoother but um i'm just going to have to i think if i make this larger 5.5 let's make this six now that we're smoothing and see what um and then if i maybe reduce the smoothing iteration slightly on the blender former say five and press play yeah, kind of looks okay. Um, cool. So there's our there's our kind of animation. Um, if you want more more points to be boiling away, then you can just go and um, go to the emitter and up the number of up the number of particles, like so. And so you've got more stuff going on. Um, cool. Uh, right, so let's call that done, and I hope you found it uh, useful. Um, actually, I'm just going to do a little addendum to that video, uh, just because I went back and looked at the original Play Blast, and the uh, things boiling from the surface really didn't look like they're looking at the moment. So um, I think just a couple of settings I need to change. Um, over in the um, on the fall-off node, this uh, custom shape radius, I think I, I made that too small, so I'm going to up that to, say, 1 now, and then uh, you get that look. And then um, if I just go onto the... Um, blend mesh and make that so if I show that it's this big I'm just gonna make it five units so it's this big now and then I'm gonna hide it um, and then if I hit play uh, you get more of the, the kind of the rounded shape that we were getting in the um, the original video uh, you know if you make this um, radius if you make this huge like if you made this seven or whatever you get some really dramatic kind of spiky 
bulges from the surface so it gets more dramatic and then because of the jiggle deformer you get the more of the ripple kind of thing so it really depends what you're after but um yeah the the kind of like the subtle rounded kind of boiling surface kind of thing that i was going for is more um more like that anyway um yes carry on 